Lil Slim got off Apple and Eagle Street. Back at it, homie. You know what I mean? Hey. Much love to the N.O. Town. It was all about the money, you know. Uh, guys recording albums, you know. We know we making money. We all over the radio, but we ain't seeing the money. You know? So that's when, you know, guys like myself, I went to ask some questions. And then when you ask questions about your money, then you 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 happen to be the bad guy because you want to know. But this is business. So so I wanted to know exactly what the was the you know, and, uh, that was the extent of it. Uh, I really didn't have a bad, bad falling out with him. It was more or less that uh, they knew I was talking about the money, and we more or less lost contact. You know, he stopped calling me, I stopped calling him, and then we 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 just lost complete contact. You know, it wasn't like no beef thing or, you know, I'm trying to do him something or he trying to get at me, nothing like that. You know what I'm saying? Just was more or less, you know, you ain't fucking with me, I ain't fucking with you. In the end, it hurt me the most. Because I was still under contract. You see what I'm saying? But eventually, uh, the contract, it was a breach. Because you wasn't paying me my money you owe me. For the records I produced for you. So that automatically breached the contract. You know, I met Baby in the street, so I want to take care of my business in the street. I know that this is, you know, I know music is a business, you know, and some things need to be handled in the court system. Some things need to be handled legally, you know. Out of all those artists that brought Baby to court, I mean, they did what they had to do. Me, myself, as a man, I feel like I ain't had to bring him to court. I met you in the street. You ought to be able to handle my business just the way I met you. The first reaction I got in the neighborhood to me falling out with cash money is like, Slim, what are you doing, man? You know, you was with a big record label like this. They just signed a $30 million deal. Why would you, you know, have a falling out with them? And it wasn't necessarily about that. It was about me doing these records, me realizing that you owe me my money, and that's what I wanted. So after they signed a $30 million deal, I was still in the neighborhood. And of course, like I said, cats looking at me like, man, Slim, you tripping. So that was the reaction that I got. You know, it was it was like I had stepped off and they signed a $30 million deal and I missed the money. You know what I'm saying? But years later, you have all these other artists that was on Cash Money Records coming back talking about their money. You see what I'm saying? When, when I first made that claim, when I first made that claim about my money, people looking at me crazy. But now, 10, 12 years later, that same claim that I made is valid today. You see what I'm saying? How many artists that came after me and said, Baby and Slim owe the money? You see what I'm saying? So I'm just happy that, you know, people can go look back at history, check out what I'm talking about, and see everything that I'm saying is 100% authentic. The biggest thing about the artist cash money deal with now and the artists that they dealt with back then, when I met Baby and Sugar Slim, I met them on some, you know, I met them, we doing this on strength. You know what I'm saying? You showed me, you know what I'm saying? I, I'm, I'm thinking you can do something for me. You think I could do something for you. We go do this on the strength. You know, I didn't go in there with an attorney. Mind you, I started rapping with Baby them at the age of 18. If you notice, that's a pattern. All the, all the guys that have been affiliated with this started out rapping young. You see what I'm saying? So I was 18 years old 
I didn't know nothing about no contracts, no laws. Okay, give me a, if you're giving me a deal, I'm making music, I got money in my pocket, we good. I wasn't worried about that back end money, you know, and that's how that happened. I didn't, I didn't go to cash money with an attorney, so I signed the contract without an attorney present. I spoke to my little homie BG about a few weeks back, and uh, we talked, we chopped it up on the phone and everything, and BG did say that uh, me and him was going to get up and do a collab all together. So I know New Orleans, they'll, they'll really like that, you know what I'm saying? BG, much love to you, because he one of the only ones out of all them dudes that rap for cash money that really paid homage to me and showed love to me. You know, he made a song called Ode to the Hot Boys. We both was young and raw. This was in 93. You studied Lil Slim and I studied UNLV. And, you know, he paid homage to me. So shout out and big love to BG for that. The thing I would tell B and Slim is, you know, morally, as a human being, if I owed a man something, I wouldn't even want to live with it on my conscience that I even owe that man something. So morally, as a human being, you know, bruh, if I got something for you, I'm gonna give it to you. You see what I'm saying? And that's the same thing I'm telling Baby and Slim. I don't care if it's been 15 or 20 years. If you got something for me, give me mine, Tony. Give me mine. I always knew he can be successful, but being successful is not just something you do. It's a combination of hard work from other people. So, uh, you know, him being successful, I pretty much started seeing it when um, they made the Back That Ass Up video with Juvenile. That's when, 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 when Wayne had that verse on there. After you make it up, then stop, then drop, drop, like it's hot. I knew that Wayne could possibly be an American icon. Tell you one thing, he don't need to be in jail. That's the last place he needs to be. You know, um, I wouldn't want to see no man going to jail. Man. No matter what the situation is with me or what we going through, I don't want to see no man go to jail. You know what I'm saying? And he he definitely don't need to be in jail at the status that he at now. You know, it's like. To be honest, he, he's going into jail bigger than Tupac was. You know, Tupac was big going into jail, you know? And I, shit, I would put Wayne on that same scale. He that big going into jail. And, and um, that's, I mean, me being who I am and me doing what I've done, that's hard for me to watch him go to jail. And Wayne don't even deal with me. Me and Wayne ain't got no contact whatsoever. I got contact with his little young money cats, but me and him ain't got no contact. But still, I wouldn't want to see no man.